Wow, that's dope. He was, uh, yeah. He was quite a special guy. He was he was my go-to guy after games. He'd watch, you know, some of these games, and uh, I'd call him up afterwards. And, he, of course, he'd tell me what I did right, what I did wrong, just kind of like the playing days. But, uh, yeah, I miss him, you know. he's uh, He was always there, always uh, gave uh, some really good advice. All right, we're here with uh, Coach Hafford, uh, head coach, Transit Tech High School here in Brooklyn. Coach, season's going on now, right? Oh, yeah. H how's it looking for you guys? Well, at this point of the year, we're 12 games into our league schedule. We're 12-0. and 0. Um, We've had a, a few pretty tough games. You know, uh, uh, Lawn Tech is always going to be a battle. Robeson was tough. Um, so we're looking forward to playing them again. We play them twice this year since with the new um, schedule realignments. Um, you know, we played some really tough non-league games. We just came off a trip uh, up in Maine. Um, we went up and played at the, the Maine Celtics uh, G League court. They, they host a high school showcase up there. So we played a couple of the top AA teams in the state up there over the break. Um, we played uh, South Portland, who's the defending state double-A champs and uh, overcame, I think it was like a 12-point deficit, they ended up winning that game by five. And then uh, we played Oxford Hills, who's ranked number one in the double-A's up there. And actually, we lost to them by one. But it was, it was a great experience for these kids because they don't see that style of ball. You know, they're, they're big, they're physical. Matter of fact, that school just came off a state championship for football, and I think the whole basketball team played football. So they, they were big boys, big wow. physical kids. And uh, it was a really good challenge for us and uh, always proud of our kids. And we, we play in games like that and we get down big. They, they never, ever give up. And that's, that's a real important uh, characteristic for, you know, a championship caliber team um, to have. Yeah, we, we, you was talking about uh, the player that Oxford Hills has and how great he is, the number one player in the state of Maine. Yeah. And... and uh, you guys holding the 12. Tell me a little bit about that, and tell me who was holding them. Oh. <laughs> well, um, you know, we, UMaine is interested in uh, one of our players, Ashton Reynolds. Um, people don't know UMaine uh, Black Bears are the D1 team yeah. up in Maine, the only Division One team they have up there. And they were coming down to um, watch the kid from Oxford Hills play. And they knew Transit Tech was coming up to Maine um, for the week, so they were going to see Ashton Reynolds play. So, uh, yeah, I um, was talking to the coach before the game, and I said, uh, so you're here to see the, 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 this kid play from Oxford Hills. I said, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to have my kid guard that kid. And uh, Ashton Reynolds did a very good job. He held the kid to 12 points. You know, a lot of people um, know Ashton Reynolds as the high-flying, dynamic dunker, but there's a lot more to that kid's game than uh, just his athleticism. Um, he's, he's really taking his game to another level. He takes playing defense personally um, on the opponents. And usually I put him on whoever the, the other team's best player is. So, um, it doesn't matter if they're a guard, doesn't matter if they're a center. Yeah, he's 6'3", have him listed as a small forward. He's really not a small forward. He's, to us, he's a one through five. We're a, we're a positionless team. And uh, you know, I, I'm just really impressed in this um, young man's growth over the last couple seasons. What I, what I was impressed by, you know, coming to see you guys play uh, in the beginning of the year at the homecoming uh, is that he's a guy who gets out on defense, he dives on the floor, and he doesn't wait for his dunks to get him involved in the game. He's already in the game from the jump start. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny. I, I, I took a little different approach with him um, this year. Um, look, it, when he goes to the next level, he's going to be a guard. So I use him more as a guard, especially on defense. Like, and we're not really a big zone team, but when we do play zone, say we're playing an odd front zone, I'll put him on top of the zone, you know. And that, and he he's a problem on top of the zone. He, he's he's got the length, he's athletic, so it puts him in a position to get out and run. Um, you know, he if we're, he's on the top of that one three one, he gets a deflection or tip or steal, he's off and running. He's the first man down the floor. So. By him playing guard is setting himself up for you know success as well in these games. Coach, who are some of the other key players that you have uh, this year, and, and tell me their roles? Wow, you know we've, you know people talk a lot about last year's team, 
and, and how good they were. And they were. They were a tremendous team, and I was so proud to coach those guys. And, you know, we lost a few key pieces, and I, and I was telling everyone, you know, this team, I think we're just as deep, maybe deeper than last year's team. We got a kid, um, uh, Topaleo, who's, he does it all too. He's a 6'1", does everything, guard forward type player. Um, one of the best rebounders on our teams, averaging 15 points a game. Mm. Um, tremendous defender. Um, Xavier Sanchez is having a phenomenal year. That, that I always tell him he's the glue. He's the glue. Every game we go to, um, he, he does it all. Defense, rebound, runs the floor. Um, a, he's just a good teammate, keeps everyone involved. Matter of fact, the other night we played Uncommon, and I went up to him after the game. I had no idea who scored what, who did what. I said, geez, that was one heck of a game you just had. And he looked at me like I was a little crazy. He said, coach, I only had four points. He's like, I wouldn't have known how many points you scored. I wasn't paying attention to the points, but I saw how many times you dived on the floor. I saw how many turnovers you, you know, you, 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 you took advantage of from the other team. I saw how many rebounds you got, how many loose balls, 50-50 balls you won. I mean, the kid is just a tremendous asset to the team. Um, Jarrell Solomon. He's another one. You saw him all summer. That's right. That's Reboard, right. That's, that's you know, our three-point winner our, right there. That's look, right. That's this kid right. has been with me since his freshman year, and we don't keep too many freshmen. Not too many freshmen, you know, can make varsity. Um, the only two I've had was uh, Jarrell and Ashton Reynolds. The only two ninth graders have, have made varsity, but Jarrell Solomon, another just tough, tough kid, um, great distributor, great point guard. But you saw what he did this summer. He developed a perimeter shot. So yeah, I think it was our first game of the season. He came out and he was just, I, I think he had eight threes, um, the season opener. I'm like, wow. So maybe I got to get the ball out of his hands and get him out on the wing or something and let someone else handle it. But again, like I said, we're a positionless team. And on this team, a lot of, they don't care. They don't care who, you know, is the top scorer. You know, we got a guy averaging 20, a guy averaging 16, 15, 14. We got five guys in double digits. You know, we got some weapons here this year. So... We don't need one guy to have a big game. You know, usually two or three other guys will step up if one guy's having a bad game. Now, to all the coaches out there and all the different programs out there, if they want to prepare their teams in the summer, what tournament should they be playing? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to promote you, Pooh. I, I was just telling uh, Pooh here that, um, you know, out of all the summer tournaments that, that I've witnessed, you know, I'm not a New York City guy. I've been here long enough that I couldn't be called a New Yorker, but... I tell you, what I witnessed over at Brevoort, that was pretty awesome. And, and we're definitely, you sign us up right now. We're in it. So if you guys are looking for a tournament to play, you basketball heads at Brevoort is the place to be. Appreciate you, Coach. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Yeah, one second. I'm going to use the office. That's how he's scared. I'm going to take a spot. Yeah. 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 Remember Joel Hodge? He played for us here, then he went to Kingsboro. Um, the last year he, he went to he wasn't in school. So he was the full time assistant here. He did, a, he did a lot for these kids. He was my right hand guy. Yeah. But anyway, he got accepted. He's at U Maine and Presque Isle now this year. He went up there with David Ellington, remember the shooter. Yes, yes. Yeah. He's, 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 he's How's David to, uh, doing? Get the hang of it up there. You know, for the first few games, he wasn't getting much playing time. He was really frustrated. I was like, David, you got to remember, you know, you're a freshman. Start from, start from scratch. With guys that are fifth year seniors getting that extra year, you're not just going to get thrown in the lineup. So, two weeks ago. Oh. I guess some of the guys on the team were sick, injured, whatever. So David came off the bench like early in the game. He dropped 31 points. Got player of the game, player of the week, and all kinds of accolades. And I was like, see, you just got to wait your turn, man. Just got to wait. That's how I tell kids all the time. Ball. That's right. We know you can play. So. That goes up kind of behind you.
All right, the one thing I was trying to point out to you, when we're playing this orange style 2-3, you've got, to, you've got to trap on the baseline. That man's job is not to take away baseline. This man's job is to force him baseline. You've got to step up and, and trap, okay? You waited too long under the basket. We want to trap short form, all right? Okay, let's hear it up. Any more out of More out of Ready, ready. that chemistry and you know for the seniors they got this little chip on their shoulder that these little boys can't hang with them but for the record the juniors won yesterday by one at the end of practice so, uh, we have a little bit of fun to end practice that's right so, coach, what's your you take you take uh, the future let's finish this strong everything's man to man everything's man to man right now one two three go So Aston, man, you, you, you go from playing the Brevoort to coming back and, you know, get with your Trans Tech Express team to going viral. How does it feel, brother? I don't know. It just feels regular. I just feel like I'm playing basketball. So, I just feel like a regular day. You, you know, I, I don't know the guy who put out the post, right? Because they got you as this, you know, this mean Duncan dude. 
That's all he do is dunk. I know you do more than that. Tell the people what they can expect from more from you. I definitely pass and I can shoot. And I can still dribble too. So you could expect everything, not just dunk it. So and, and, and I and I heard you locked up one of the best players in Maine, if not the best player in Maine. Yeah. I mean we held them down. We still lost, but we held them down to pretty low points. And then we could. So did did you want that assignment? Of course. I want the hardest person out there. The well, hardest person to guard. The best player. I always want to guard him. Mm, why is that important to you? Because it showed the colleges and it showed people. Like, the best player. I'm, I'm locking them down, so. And, and when it comes to, to being one of the best players in the city, right? Um, I, I definitely think you're one of them. Um, do you feel that in yourself? No, I feel like I could be way better. I feel like I could be way better than I am right now, so. Okay. Well, I let people say who the best people are. I don't put myself in that category. It's a good attitude, young man. It's a good attitude. It's a good attitude. What has Coach Hafford done to help your game? Shooting, definitely. Shooting and dribbling. When I came to transit, I couldn't really shoot that well. Now I'm shooting the ball really well and playing defense. Yeah, I told Coach Hafford, you know, uh, come to see you play uh, during the homecoming game. I, I watch you die for loose balls, uh, get after it on the defensive end, and I definitely see you improving on that end. Yeah. Defense for offense. Always. Definitely. Defense win games, so. All right, well, I'm definitely going to be seeing more of you. Yeah, you know, definitely. I'll see you this summer, but definitely. I'm definitely going to be watching you during the, during the year. Keep up the good work. Yeah. We're proud of you. Thank you. All right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready?